James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying a really fun Salvatore Ferragamo tie that has uh, a bunch of horses on it. It's a really cute tie. <clears throat> Let me get on over here where you can see it. Good. It's um, it's almost a purple, but it's a blue tie, so it's a really pretty color of blue with uh, little orange horses with light blue saddles. I don't know how much detail you can see there. Salvatore Ferragamo's novelty ties from a distance are just classic looking designs. It look like little ge geometric patterns and as you come up close you realize it's made up of a bunch of little uh, either cartoon characters or animals or something. I have quite a few of these ties because I love them. Not, because, not just because they're really cute ties and good look at ties, but they're always very well made. As far as the review goes, it's a very thin tie. Ferragamo's are thin ties. Um, the silk though lays like just like just lays right across like a waterfall. Um, and it's some of the smoothest silk you'll ever feel. Um, and in addition to just being, in addition to being very, very smooth silk, they tie very nice tight knots, and the knots stay put all day long, which is impressive for such a smooth silk. So anyway, gorgeous tie. I do love Ferragamo ties. I love the way they tie. So let's tie this one up and see how it comes together. Now I have a lot of Ferragamo ties, so I always know my spot with the Ferragamo is going to be right around here. I leave this much space. And when I say my spot, what I'm doing is I'm putting my fingers there on my left hand. And then I'm placing my left hand just straight down and keeping my fingers there. That tells me how much slack I need in this tie. So it should be right about here, right in that range. So we take the long part, I'm sorry, the long part of the tie over top of the short part. And we come behind, up and through. Then we come around behind, keeping everything nice and tight, up, over, and through. And this is what I call the checkpoint. We're going to look make sure our, our triangle is coming together perfectly, which it is. Now we're going to come around the front, up behind and through. And we create this little pocket in the front. We're pushing down through that pocket. We hold the top of the pocket, pull the tie down through. Now we make our final adjustments, which turn in, hold the knot and pull on the long part of the tie. That tightens up your knot. And then hold the knot and pull the short part of the tie to tie it, bring it up to your neck. Now we're going to check for our distance. We want the tip of the tie, this part of the tie right here, to come between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. This is coming right about halfway down. It's right where I want it. Um, now if my belt comes down a little bit, obviously, then the tie is a little short. So I'm going to tighten this knot up just a little bit. So the trick, you probably know, but if you don't know, if you need a little bit more length out of your tie, hold on to your knot and pull on the long part. What happens, that tightens the knot. And by tightening the knot, you're pulling more slack out of this part of the tie, which makes it automatically longer. So we're going to hold on to the knot, and we're going to tighten this up just a little bit more. And what that does then is that gives us a little bit more length on our tie. So let's pull the collar down and see how this all came together and tidy everything up a little bit. Make sure the collar stays right out of the way. Okay. We come in tight here. So look how beautiful that triangle is. South Torrey Ferragama ties tie a really nice knot. They always do. Um, even if they weren't, if they just looked like every other tie out there, I would still buy them because they tie such good ties. But the fact that they um, are fun, they're so much fun. I sit down with a client, you know, it just looks like a regular tie. I sit down with a client, and I'll actually catch them look across the table at my tie. It's hilarious. I have one that's got a swan riding a bicycle. I've got teddy bears playing soccer. This one's just a bunch of horses. I have owls, parrots, uh, dogs, uh, sloths. You, you, know, you know, South Florida Fairground does a lot of, a lot of fun stuff. Um, the list is going to be scrolled across the bottom of your screen, and I'm going to go through it with you right now. Today we're wearing a navy blue Amerta Gildo Zinnia suit. Navy blue Amerta Gildo Zinnia suit. We're wearing a light blue Brooks Brothers shirt with some white window pane pattern in it. I just did that to add a little bit, another dimension to the outfit. Uh, normally I would have went with just like a, a regular light blue but uh, this just gives a little bit more dimension. Um, and I'm wearing a Salvatore Ferragamo tie that is a really um, purpley shade of blue with orange horses and light blue saddles. We're pairing that today with a, uh, actually we're in a lot of Ferragamo today, a brown Salvatore Ferragamo belt with a silver belt buckle and a pair of brown Salvatore Ferragamo Oxfords. On my Instagram, Tie Guy James Akers. You'll see close-ups of the shoes and belt. You'll see close-ups of the knot. Selfies of me wearing the tie. Uh, close-ups of the whole outfit. And you can see a close-up of the tie itself. So check out my Instagram, Tie Guy James Akers. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, please click uh, subscribe and like. I definitely try to create new videos all, uh, for you all the time. I hope I help. Uh, uh, my goal is just to help men 
dress better for success, dress more professional, and bring back the classic suit and tie look to America because I feel like it's really missed. It's time for us gentlemen to rise up, but I am ready for work. Thank <laughs> you.